Okay, so AMS 2's V1.6 update looks to be quite far left. I don't know exactly when it will arrive, but we'll have to do the what we deal with it later. But we know at least a road Atlanta is guaranteed coming. Then we know Sebring has been teased by Renato, and also, well, it has been shown but revealed by Renato basically. And also it was revealed in the Overtake stream that Mosport is coming. So today, since those have been revealed and I'm allowed to talk about stuff, I will do a sort of a track guide. But I can't use in-game footage, so I'm using real footage. So hopefully I don't get copyrights claimed or anything because I'm going to be talking over it. I'm not just going to run through it and just copy the video. So let's jump into the first track, Sebring. So here we have Sebring. As you can see, we're in the Ferrari 499P. But if we just keep going here, if we just go back to the start actually, here, what's something which is in very unique to Sebring is that all of these are concrete blocks. I think this was this was an airport, I believe it was used during World War II, and I think this might have been one of the runways, I'm not so sure. But, it's very bumpy here. So, when you're driving, have the correct FFB, because if it's too strong, you will be going like this all the time. And you will be shaking a lot, which isn't so fun. But then when we get down here, I usually try and break somewhere... You see this board end, I usually break somewhere bit before it. Because the big issue is you want to break hard enough to actually go very close to the apex. You see like here. So you want to touch here, basically where that O is, or zero or what it is. But if you go too fast, you will drift out the baby here and then you'll go and hit the walls. Or you will go onto the grass, which you will be seeing there. You will be going heading off to there, which isn't so fun. And also here, it switches over to more smooth asphalt. And this corner can be very tricky with braking into... Because this, you it's... Hmm. You have... Will have a... Can have a hard time braking into this corner because it's a very tight and slow left hand. And once you're going with a lot of speed, you want to try and brake as late as possible. So you could... So it's possible that you will lock the brakes up. But you will know when you have nailed it. So you go through here. Then also the curbs on this in sector 1 here. They are quite high. So try and just touch them and not ride them. And then also there you go through the right hand. And here is also a left hander where you want to do a late apex. And also you don't want to break too much. Because if you break too much you will lose quite a lot of speed onto this straight as you can see here so you go through here yeah late apex you basically don't touch it to get a wider exit onto the straight and then you hear the, F the hybrid system activating this car and then we get to the hard braking zone they start braking around that bar uh, the this board I believe in a, in the beta it has like you have boards here but there will be a clear distinction I don't remember exactly and I don't exactly know what I can tell you or not but I will just tell you there's a clear distinction and then you just break heavily and as you saw there in the with the car up ahead is if you won't have any big issues when you're starting to brake, but then when you get slower, if you don't trail brake enough, the rear will pop out. As happened to that car. And then you can go quickly onto the throttle through the chicane there. And then it's just a full throttle section here. You can try and touch this apex here. And then, here, you can see the boards. And also this is sort of a hairpin, but not really. It's feels like a hairpin when you're entering it.
But then we're exiting it, exiting it. It doesn't feel like one, so it's very weird. So you break very hard, touch the apex, and then you just want to go under the throttle here. So if you look at the track map, it isn't really a. It's more of a 90 degree corner, but it really feels like a hairpin. The another full throttle section where you grow like full throttle. Here too. I beforehand used to always take that white line into the, the entry of this braking zone up here. But what you should do is what this car is doing, the 409P. And you want to touch that apex. And you just want to brake. I usually brake a bit later than this car, but I usually lock up. So you will have to try and find the perfect braking point. Because I'm currently going after sort of what I have experienced in an LMDH and the GT3 Gen 2 car. So you brake hard, you want to touch the apex, and you want to get on the throttle as quickly as possible onto this straight. And then you keep here, you want to keep left, then do this sort of double exit, double apex corner, brake hard into here. Also here, it's very easy to go wide if you brake too late, and then you'll invalidate your lap time. So you want to touch the curbs, and then this one also is very deadly if you is yeah you shouldn't touch this curb really when you're exiting the corner because i've had a few issues then here you also want to brake hard you can exit here but be focused because you don't want to lock the some any brake you don't want to lock any of the brakes onto this straight uh, straight and then we're heading off into the last corner which in my opinion is the hardest corner on the circuit because of a thing. I will show you it after this video because I know there is an IMSA video on it. But when you're entering this corner, I sort of... It depends on how you like it if you want to make it a U or if you want to make it a V. Because if you make it a U, you want to try and keep throttle and brake, throttle and brake and try and keep the quarter radius sort of constant. Whilst I, in a V... I normally just brake a bit later and get head off a bit straighter, then turn in quite quickly and then get on the throttle. I don't know what this guy does, but here you have the racing. I like to keep, go a bit wide because somewhere around here you have a big bump. It's I think it's right here, and that one you really don't want to touch. So yeah, you could see here he mo made it more of a U. I like to go leave here and make it a bit wider and then obviously get into the apex and no to the exit and onto the onto the back straight or the main straight or what you want to call it but let me just quickly try and bring up the video which talks about the bump okay so i found the video it's this crucial corner theming turn 17 at sebring race we would call kirkwood so here Yeah, he talks about it. Moonlord. Here you will clearly see with this car how it goes. And there, there is a bump. But they will show a bit later a huge bump which they have. You can see there. If we just pause it and then go forward a bit there. I think it is. Yeah, this is very interesting, but then... Yeah, see, as he says... You can't really see it here, but I believe they say it's like 4 inches in height, as in 10 centimeters. It's somewhere around there, so it's a very big bump, which you really need to think about, to not touch. But, since I've discussed Sebring, let's head off to the track which was shown in the overtake stream. 
most bought. Okay, so now we're in this video in a BMW M240i around Canadian Toyo Motorsport Park or Motorsport with Trillium. I believe that's what the guy's gonna know. The guy is called Brian Kennedy. So, what if you're more interested in uh, laps around Motorsport, watch his video if you don't want any commentary. But then, if we start here, yeah, this corner we will get to the last corner at the end. But if we keep on going, here on the straight, it's not such a long straight as you can see here. But this first corner is very crucial to go to f perfectly and uh, well. Because this, in my opinion, is the opposite of Bergwerk or Beriverk or what you want to call it in German or English or, anything, or Swedish or anything. Where that corner, in my opinion, it has a long radius at the start and invite it's an inviting corner for you to go fast and then you just crash because it's actually tightens up this is a bit the opposite because it looks really like oh you're not supposed to go fast through it or you're supposed to break hard for it but if you take it once you actually see you can go fast and here he goes this line and in him saying ams2 you're supposed to go you can go take that line, so you basically nearly touch the wall. And also, yeah, you need to what isn't allowed there. And then you can also obviously go off the ground there. And here is one of the corners, the big long corner, which I believe is one of. Well, IMSA don't race the LMDH cars here, and I can understand why. We'll talk about it a bit later on or i can actually talk about it here because most sport is a medium sort of a medium speed corner track but it's designed in a way that if you have too much downforce it's actually not fun because everything just becomes full throttle you just do like that 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 that, that and then you just go through which isn't quite fun but if you're in like a porsche cup car or something with like a gt2 car actually when you have less aero than a gt3 but more power that's where the actual fun begins. And what you want to do here is, especially if you're in one of those cars, you want to break at the crest or a bit like roughly at the, yeah, at the crest. And then you want to get off the brake quickly and then get onto the throttle so you can go through this corner very fast, very quickly. And then here, this corner is also very tricky because... This is also one of these like burger corners where it's very inviting, but then it actually gets a bit tighter. As you can see here, it look doesn't look like it has a long radius, and then just poof, it has. So I usually lock the brakes up here, but if you actually drive it a few times, you will learn it, and it actually is not so hard to actually not lock the brakes up. Now we come into a very fast section, into a very slow section. And here, finding the optimum braking point with and braking pressure without actually locking the brakes is crucial, especially here. So what you do is, down, it's a downhill here, down a left-hander, and here is uphill right-hander, very tight and very slow. So what I have done recently when I drove this circuit is, I, you turn in for the corner, try and make your car straight as soon as possible, and then brake. Then I usually I lock up, but with setups, I think you can fix that. Then you head up here. It becomes a blind exit, but you want to take a wide exit. Touch the apex. And touch the entry slash a exit, a exit curbs there. And then try and take an early apex. Or just hit it, I mean. And then just go on the throttle, on the back straight. So the picture here... I don't know if I can easily access it, but I remember uh, Renato, he released a picture which people believed to be IMSA, which I can't, well, I can't confirm or deny it, but what I can say is if we just head off here into, into OBS, Okay, it didn't like that, but if we just go back here, and then you see the image. 
looks quite close, even though the seems like it's very bright here and you can't see. But that's what I, what people have said. But this long straight is quite a good one because it isn't fully flat, and you also get to recover and chill a bit, and get to get to think about how to prepare for. A very crucial corner because here you don't want to break hard but it feels like you need to break hard so you just go can actually go very fast through here touch the right hand side then break again and then when it head to the left then here he takes a very tight corn uh, exit which is actually very appropriate for this because it's not a very tight it's a very tight chicane I should say and by that I mean if you try and take a wide exit, you won't have enough of a wide entry to be actually take the corner optimally. Op optimal. No, not optimally. You won't take the corner with the optimum angle at corner radius because the tighter corner radius means you take less speed. So you want to keep. You want to sacrifice the exit of the second to last corner to make the entry for the last corner better. Because it goes onto a longer straight, which means that you gain more time. And that was a lap around see a most sport, and that concludes my video. So if you have any comments on this video, if you want me to maybe well, I will probably talk about this later on in AMS doing my V1.6 review, but this is what you got for today. So now you can actually prepare and have a baseline for what to roughly do when the track comes if you haven't driven them in any other sims but what do you think comment down below and once you're down there please hit the like button and also subscribe my next video we'll have to see what it's on because as stated v1.6 won't come for a little while and it hasn't has been teased for such a long time that i've had quite a hard time making videos but i've still survived so I think I'll survive now again. But until then, I've been uh, I've been racing legend. You've been my amazing best. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.